Huh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. It was a it was a pretty good weekend of sales. 23 sales, three different platforms. I best get picking. I'm at the bottom of the garden where I keep my online business. I buy mostly secondhand stuff from boot sales, charity shops, auctions, wherever I can get it from. I sell it online, I store it here, I pick it, I pack it here. This video is gonna show you exactly what sold, what I picked it up for, what I sold it for. There's quite a few to go through. It's gonna be a long one. Start of Depop, I made two sales on there this weekend. This is a Franklin and Marshall sort of baseball, varsity, university type thing. Got this from a charity shop, owes me four pounds. Sold on Depop with postage combined. £25.79, pence. so not a bad order to start the weekend orders with. The second Depop sale is a subscriber special. This came through earlier today actually, uh, here it is. This I actually picked up from TK Maxx. You saw the video where I went rounds like TK Maxx, Asda, Tesco. I picked these up in the video. Obviously brand new pair of Pumas, size nine, nice sort of pink color. I'll say thanks to Douglas who is West Coast reselling. Got £30 and I included free postage with this one. Not a massive amount. Whereas a subscriber you're always going to get the best deals. Today's video is currently sponsored by Awesome, the online accounting software. Awesome act as your own personal online accountant. So you have to do with all the boring accountancy stuff that I'm not in this business for. Awesome will take care of it for you. Right now they're offering to set up your limited company registration and set you up with your own business bank account all for only £12. Being limited is something I'm seriously seriously considering doing very very soon and I'm definitely gonna take this up. Usual accountants offer to do this for you for like 50 odd quid or so. Also awesome will handle the entire company registration process and set up a business bank account so you can start trading straight away. They'll take care of all the boring and complicated stuff including all the paperwork and the documentation. To get this exclusive deal link will be down in my description below. If you're thinking about starting a limited company or changing to a limited company then £12 to set this up is a right bargain. Thanks to Awesome for sponsoring this video. Moving on to Etsy now we're starting with a rucksack. Nice vintage one as well. So what we have here is a Euro Hike Adventure 602. It's a 60 litre rucksack. I was picking these up where I could from the boot sales this year. So people having more staycations. People are going more abroad now, but staycations are more popular than they have been in the past. We just put a boot sale. I think it's like no more, literally no more than a fiver. And it's gone for on Etsy as well. 39.99 plus a bit of postage. I think this is 4.99 postage. So it's a bit bigger, well a lot bigger than small parcel raw mail. This will probably go with uh, every. Even though we're coming into winter now, hiking is still selling. And the second Etsy sale, got a board game. Listed all my board games, or most of them anyway. Obviously coming up to Christmas now, Q4, got to think of all that. And because it's vintage, obviously Etsy you can sell vintage and handmade crafty stuff. So anything over 20 years old, I'm listing on Etsy. And it's got this sale. This is just a Scrabble Deluxe. The difference between normal and deluxe is simply the fact that on the board, it has raised tiles. So instead of just sliding everywhere, I know the other difference was this. It's on like a Lazy Susan as well. When it's on the table when it's someone else's turn, it's easier to spin. And then when you've got your letters down, they're not sliding everywhere. So yeah, really good feature, just simple and practical and it demands a higher price than just the usual Scrabble. 19 99 plus postage on Etsy. So nice little sale there. Owes me like two quid from a boot sale. Bang in the right season. Q4. All about the board games. Now onto the main beast of eBay. And I knew I had another rucksack. I think I had two in stock and both have sold over this weekend. This is the other one I had. Again, similar story. Bit of age to it. Looks like 90s to me. This one's a high gear Glen Navon. Just really cool colours. Really pops. Not as big as the other one. Obviously more just a general rucksack. Uh, this one I got from a charity shop for only £2. And it's gone for £24.99 plus £2.99 postage. Which is a nice markup. And again, it sold quite quickly. Before to get out all my shoes and footwear sales all at once. Be a lot easier. A nice lot of footwear going out. Just this pile here. Just purely footwear, boots, smart shoes, trainers, new and used as well. We'll start with this one at the back here. The only new pair, I think. Yeah, this is the new pair. DC trainers, obviously a skateboarding brand. Nice and new and fresh. Look at that, box fresh as well. These are from one of the last boot sales of the season this year. I believe I paid eight pounds, eight to 10 pounds on these. But this was from my second Sunday one, the late riser. Uh, these have gone for 36 pounds, 79 plus 2.99 postage. Again, random amount. Sent offers out to watchers around 12, 10, 15%, depends how I'm feeling. My target is like three months to sell maximum really, and then I start reducing the price heavily. I think this is bang on the money of free cycles. So yeah, nice profit and sold within the time limit. In fact, I just noticed I've had a double sale. So the person that bought these, I don't know if they're a subscriber or not, 
also bought these. These are a pair of Paul Smith sort of brogue trainers. These are really different. They're like dip dyed, sort of tan brown suede there. And then it's been intentionally dip dyed in like a purple. So giving this nice effect here, faded effect. It's supposed to be like that dip dyed footwear. I don't know if you're a subscriber, but I'll say thanks anyway to Philip. I won't do second name just in case it's not a subscriber. But cheers, Phil, if you are watching. If you're not, still thank you. Double sale. Oh, same price, 36.79. So they must have been priced exactly the same. I sent out the same offer to watches and they took the two of them, which is absolutely awesome. One buyer, multiple items. I wish I had more of that. Do the other box set because I was trying to keep these, but they're slightly too small, crushing my big toes. These are a pair of G Star Raw Campus Scott Low. I'm a sucker for a gum uh, sole. The white and the gum looks really nice, and it's to the toe as well. Uh, these were from a charity shop, £8 a page. Listed these maybe a couple of weeks ago, maximum. And they've already gone for £29.99 plus £2.99 postage. So I was going to keep them for £8, but I've ended up getting 30 quid before the fee. So yeah, I'll take that with Christmas coming up because with three kids it's blooming expensive. This was the latest sale. I made this sale just before I came out to film this. Adidas Superstar woven like navy and blue trainers. I believe this was from a charity warehouse so everything goes there like a Farley Hospice one and then they basically divvy it all up between all the different shops in the area and it's also sort of an outlet so the stuff that doesn't sell in the shops that then goes back and they sell it off really cheap and i think these owe me like 150 maybe two pounds in that warehouse slightly yellowed to the soles and to the toe that's why i couldn't get as much as i normally would apart from the slight yellowing they're still pretty good the navy's all good no rips or tears plenty of tread left so i got 22 pound and a penny plus postage so 25 all in so again i'm taking that It'll get a bill paid and again it's recycling in action which is what it's all about this was a nice sale again charity shop just around the corner to me got a pair of globe globe trainers not picked them up before or might have had them once before maybe i got them from my local charity shop for only five pounds uh, they took i think three or four months to sell 49.99 plus postage so before fees i'm getting 50 quid in my pocket really cool sort of Look like Y2K era, which is really hot at the moment. Go with these ones, because they sold for the same price. We've got another 50 pounder plus postage. Paul Smith again, nice, really nice brogues. Uh, like that tan brown, really nice size, size 11. Overall, okay condition, bit of creasing and that. Only 12 pound, they've gone for 50. So I am ha more than happy to take that. I see some people shy away. As soon as a bit of creasing, I see people put stuff down or not get them, but don't be afraid. Just because there's a bit of creasing, it's going to be slightly used um, as long as the name is on your side if it's not such a big hitter like a paul smith then maybe you can put them back but when it's a slightly more expensive brand then the creasing and a bit of wear should put you off too much because people still want the name without spending the money necessarily on brand new stuff these are probably like 200 pounds plus from paul smith so someone's got 50 quid they could wear a bit of paul smith and they could be happy this christmas hopefully next up i've had these for the longest time and i just kept putting them off and putting them off i don't think i can get these out of taped them out put a picture here I've got 47 pounds 99 pence plus postage i don't know why i was putting it off so much i picked these up at my boot sale that's no longer in existence and it's been a whole season so i've had these for about a year and a half just sitting on my shelf and it's because of the condition for some reason i just kept putting it off and putting it off i thought i was going to try and clean it up get as good as i could but when it sat there for over a year doing nothing i thought now it's time to just picture them as they are get them sold even if it's cheap because at the moment they're owing me money and taking up space in my goods in area just get them listed even if it's 10 20 quid just get them gone doing a bit of research and similar condition boots uh, these are like motorcycle boots but for kids it's like a really small size this is a uk free yeah they're still fetching good money so tried them i think i tried 50 55 took a year and a half to list and it took a week or two to sell so there you go why did it take me so long but it's a nice profit in the end anyway last pair got a pair of these onix onizuka onizuka tiger i cannot say that name there's many names i can't say and that's one of them again another charity shop pickup even though i shouldn't be buying because I've got more than enough stuff to last me this winter. I just can't help popping in a charity shop, especially when I'm finding cool stuff to make money on. Again, owes me about four or five pounds from the charity shop, literally round the corner, same one as the others. 22.99 plus 2.99 postage. Nice little bill payer again, and nice and easy to pack, picture, list, etc. This is something I haven't sold before. Here we go, I picked up a load of designer, like high-end designer bags and boxes. I think I had about six of them, and out of the six, three of them, I believe were fake, or, Two of them were definitely fake, one 
I wasn't sure as I didn't list it. But this one is real and it has sold. I think I bought the lot for £15. Looking back on it, I probably wouldn't pick them up because obviously three out of the six were fake. But this uh, Gucci bag, obviously when you go to Gucci, buy yourself a nice little Prezi. You'd obviously get a little shopping gift bag. This is like a smaller one, maybe like a watch, piece of jewellery, perfume. Not too sure. I'm not a regular in the Gucci. They don't know my face there. This one's gone for £10.39 plus £1.99 postage. Obviously it will fit as a large letter. Obviously once the string's folded down, large letter, £1.99. I paid up a bit, I took a chance, but I wanted to learn. Maybe a bit of a fail once I've sold the other two that I have for sale, but I wanted this to be a bit of an education. So when I do come to seeing designer bags and boxes, I know what to look out for so I don't make the same mistake in future and can make more profit. So that one was for the knowledge bank. Another pin badge. I'm down to my last two or three maybe of these pin badges. Since I showed you in the video, they've been selling like hotcakes. I think I say that one's a video. There you go, sold one. I have one, two, three left. Rank Films, put that back there. I sold something else in there actually, which I'll grab right now. So from a boot sale for a fiver, I had about 22 to 24 of these Rank Film pin badges, brand new and the little baggies. 4 99 again for this one. As you saw, I'm down to my last three now. A whole 20 odd of them owed me a fiver. So it's just pure money. It's nice and cheap, really easy and really, really small. So ideally, I'd want a nice lot of these pin badges <laughs> selling because they take up hardly any space at all. Got a TK Maxx special again. Got this Polo Ralph Lauren belt. I believe this is when I was filming for that Channel 5 show that my hand made an appearance in. Filmed with them for about three or four hours and literally they used about five seconds of my hand. No mind, I still got paid. And I got to <laughs> get this stuff for free as well. The stuff I did buy, they refunded me for. It just owes me nothing, basically. Just about three hours of filming worth, so that'll do me. Technically, owes me nothing. I think at the time, it owes me about 20 quid. It's like a stretch fabric belt, 36 inch waist. And it's gone for £31.67 plus postage. I believe I had two of these at the time. The other one sold really quick. This one's lingered around for a while, but it's gone now anyway. Got a couple of remote controls. Quite a few bits in this box actually. One, two, three, four, five. Another double sale. Actually, we'll start with this one. Going through my backlog again, trying to get through all of this before the boot sales start again next March. But yeah, I found these. I've even forgot I had them. I had a whole Wii set up and these spare games as well. I listed them separately for 9 99 each. Just Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. It's a nice clean disc. Got its uh, manual as well. And that's just the sleeve one that comes with the console or used to come with the console. There you go, there's the game there. Someone bought the two together same person i don't think it's a subscriber because they have messaged me since and they didn't say they watch youtube or anything for the two i got 19 pound 98 pence i had three of these uh sort of internet wi-fi extension plugs <laughs> together two were matching and then there's another odd one that wasn't to do with the set but they chucked it in anyway it owed me two pound i've sold the other two for like 14 and 16 pound each and then i sold the last one here this is a tp link and this one went for 16.99 plus 2.99 postage so that £2 deal has turned into like 40 odd quid, which is absolutely amazing. Remote control number one, uh, JVC, owes me £2 from a house clearance shop around the corner to me. Just having a rummage round through their basket, see what they got. I was looking out for like hi-fi remote controls and stuff like that. They tend to go well. Sold for £9.99 plus £2.99 postage, so £13-ish overall. Again, I don't normally do like the £2 into 10s. But remote controls, I make an exception for because it's literally one, two, three pictures, maybe four maximum, and it's done. And again, no space in a box, and off it goes. Again, same shop, two pounds. CD stereo system, Panasonic. So I was always picking that up in the same basket at the same time. Owes me two. Sold for nine ninety nine plus two ninety nine postage. Same story. Just sells really quick. Just so easy to picture and test and everything that's why i always pick them up this sale i've been concentrating finally on my trouser slash jeans slash chino slash shorts pile it's massive i've pictured like maybe a couple of dozen and it's already filled up a box and they're starting to sell through already which is nice uh, these ones i got from a charity shop brand new with tags make sure this is the right thing yep it's the right one i bought them without researching the price because i thought i was comfortable they owed me 10 pounds Brand new with the tags, like I said. Charles Fyright, I think that's how you say it. Ultimate Chinos. Yeah, I thought I might be getting like 40, 50 quid for these. So I picked them up, didn't even look them up. Brand new with the tags. I thought that was easy all day long. Not worth as much as I thought, actually. People are actually getting like 15 to 20 pound maximum, which is a surprise. There wasn't actually any listed. So I had zero competition. So I went a bit higher than that. 
Obviously, they owe me 10. I want more than like 18, 20 quid, really. I listed them at 29.99. Again, sent out offers to watches and they ended up selling for 26 pounds, 39 plus the postage of 2.99. So in the end, made okay profit after fees. Not as much as I'd like when I'm spending 10 pounds, but they've literally taken a week, under a week, in fact, to sell. Again, easy to picture, easy to post, all that good stuff. Got some cool vintage stuff selling now. Two more board games. Again, Q4, kicking in, Christmas time, nostalgic family games. If you've got any in your death piles, then list them. First one to sell was this Buccaneer board game. I've taped it all up and it's all protected. There was a hole, I think, in the box. Yeah, that's why I've bagged it up. But I've had this one again for ages and ages. I've put it off and put it off, just like these boots. This was from a charity shop, like at least a year ago, minimum a year ago. Owes me a pound or two. This one has gone for 49.99 plus postage. Even with that damage on the back, there's like a hole in that. I think the only piece I needed to complete it was a tiny boat, which owes me like 2.99. So the game was two. That boat was 2.99. So five at maximum it owes me. It's turned it into 50. So yeah, again, another one to look out for and the perfect time to list it. Another game, not as compact as that game. This box is humongous. I sold a few of these recently or over the past year or so. Classic Crossfire, one of my favorite board games. I had like the 2000s version it is in a smaller box, but this is like the original version. Such a cool game, such a dangerous game. I don't know if they're allowed to sell it anymore. I've actually done a swap deal with Cody local reseller friend and tattooist. Uh, I picked up a cool vintage CRT TV. He had two classic games. It was this one and a Sabutio type game. That one's already sold. That sold within an hour of me listing it. And then this one has gone for 75.99. I think the postage on this is like five or 6.99. Obviously it is massive. Should go with UPS though or DPD, get their next day delivery. They're just such a cool game and the price has actually gone up. I don't know if it's because of the time of year, was it coming towards Christmas, a complete classic game. This was a surprise sale. I usually, as soon as it hits September, these sales completely die. They're right here, hiding behind this box. Probably right at the bottom here. Yeah, of course they're at the bottom. And they're camping chairs. Can you tell I've put them away for the winter? They've just been sitting here for a few months now, obviously coming up to December. But yeah, I was so, so surprised to even get an offer on these. Let me get them out and I'll show you. Talking of packed away for winter. Boots out trolley, my old friend. See you in March. But these are the ones that sold, I finally got them out. Classic vintage camping chairs. I've been picking these up since I very first started before everyone else started picking them up. Oh, it's hard to show you. But yeah, classic floral 70s design, nice wooden handles, no rips or tears, supports my body weight, no problem. These usually sell really well and really quickly during the summer months and spring. And then as soon as autumn hits, bang, they just absolutely die. You can get like 50 to 60, maybe a bit more for this nice set here during the right months. Uh, but someone offered me uh, £35 plus postage. Yeah, I could wait till spring, summer and get like 50 to 60, like I said, but Someone's off to me 35, they owe me like a fiver, 10 pound tops. So I'll take that, that's not too bad to pack. It's a bit of a pain, but they fold flat, bit of cardboard, bit of shrink wrap, and off they go. So yeah, probably surprise sale of the weekend. Oh God. Nice big heavy unit this, made properly. Don't make them like this anymore. Don't think they make typewriters at all anymore actually. Here we go. Loved my typewriters this year. They've been selling really, really strong. All around the world they've been selling. Sold to Japan. I think one went to China. Like the Asian countries tend to buy these and America as well. All type in well, a really, really nice example. According to my notes here, uh, this owes me 12 pounds, bought from a boot sale, listed in July. So more than my three months, but when it's getting me 12 pounds to 89.99 plus postage, I don't mind that bit of a wait. Was it taking up a lot of space? It's very heavy but the return on it is very, very nice. 90 quid for one item. That's more what I'm about or what I used to be about. These days, especially during winter, is the clothes and shoes, um, sort of the more mid tier, mid table pricing. So not as many of these big hitters, but when they do come around, it's very nice. Q4 really kicking in now. The lead up to Christmas is real. It's December this week and sales are really showing that. Talking of Christmas, Watch this video to see how my Christmas sales went during Christmas. <laughs> 